I'm Danny Epperson inside the spectacular Commodore Dinner Theater in downtown Portsmouth. Thanks for joining me for WHRO Cinema 15. In our feature presentation, the 2014 film Jayhawkers. The greatest sports movies are never just about scoring points. That's the case with Jayhawkers, a 2014 film from writer-director Kevin Wilmot. Jayhawkers tells the story of Wilt Chamberlain's college basketball career at the University of Kansas in the 1950s. Forrest Fogg Allen, renowned as the father of basketball coaching, recruited the seven-foot Philadelphia phenomenon. Welcome to Kansas, Wilt. Nice to see you, Coach. At Kansas, Chamberlain was a sensation. What he could do on the court was almost magical. But Jayhawkers is much more than a basketball biopic. Beyond the action on the court, it tells of how a small group of unlikely allies modernized college sports. The group also changed a small Midwestern town, serving as a parallel to the civil rights movement that would transform all of America. In addition to being the producer, writer, and director of Jayhawkers, Kevin Wilmot is a University of Kansas film and media studies professor. He's also no stranger to addressing issues of race in his films. Wilmot was the writer and director of the 2004 mockumentary, CSA, The Confederate States of America. And he wrote the screenplay for two recent Spike Lee films, Chirac and Black Klansman, which won the Grand Prix Prize at the 2018 Cannes Film Festival. Jay Hawkers is the most modern film shown so far as part of Cinema 15, and the theme is one of the most important in American history. Speaking of the films of Cinema 15, I'll be back after this movie to reveal some of the great classics coming at you in 2019. But for now, hit the lights. Get ready for the slam dunk film, Jayhawkers. That was powerful. I had no idea what life was like for Wilt Chamberlain or much about the history of basketball. Jake Hawkers was an independent film produced for less than $200,000, which included more than $50,000 raised on Kickstarter. The filmmaker said that most of the people who invested in the film were simply people who wanted to see the story told. One of the biggest worries director Kevin Wilmot had was finding someone to fill Chamberlain's size 15 shoes. Instead of heading to Hollywood, the director found a solution closer to home. Kansas basketball coach Bill Self suggested his current forward, Justin Wesley. Even though he was four inches shorter than Wilt, Wesley had the skills to be credible on the court. Just a few days into 2019 now, we're all looking forward to a new year of sharing memorable movies on Cinema 15. We've got some really great classics coming up. Watch for Lawrence of Arabia, Carousel, As Good As It Gets, the Natural, South Pacific, Mrs. Doubtfire, From Here to Eternity, The Big Chill, The Graduate, and one of my all-time favorites, Tootsie. Before I go, the Cinema 15 crew and I would like to wish you a happy, healthy, and safe new year. And also, we want to thank Fred and Tiffany at the amazing Commodore Dinner Theater in downtown Portsmouth, as well as Nick and Jessica at Dillard's in Virginia Beach. And thanks to you for your input and your kind words. None of this would be possible without the support of donors and members of WHRO Public Media. Thanks again, I'm Danny Epperson, and I'll see you next time for WHRO's Cinema 15 and another classic movie.